Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will understand what is comment and different types of comment that a Dart supports. Basically, comments are the statement which are simply ignored by the compiler. Means, these are the magical statement that you write in the program, but during compile time, compiler simply skip the statement and without just getting the comments, compiler will compile your program. So that finally your comment doesn't appear in the result and output that is given by the compiler. Now, we might have a big question. If compiler is simply ignoring your comments, then why someone should write a comment? Comments are actually used for documentation. That is, it is used to write information about your program or about your code inside the code itself. When you create a big application, it consists of a huge line of code. After a long time, you can't understand for what reason you have written that code or what the specific logic is about. That's the reason you have to place so many comments in your code so that once you open your program, comment will help you to understand what the reason for writing all the statements or all the logics that you have written here. In most of the cases, comments are found helpful when you are working in a team. Let's say I have written some logic, some code, so it's definitely understandable to me. But my other team members won't understand my logic or the way I'm doing the programming. Comment will help my other members in the team to understand this logic very well. Now, let's see what are the different comments that Dart supports. The comment that starts from two forward slashes and ends with end of the line is known as a single line comment. This is called single line comment because it has a scope only limited for a single line. Let's understand this example. Here, we have print high written inside the comment. So when I run it, you can see on output, I got the hello and welcome, but not the high. The reason is this printer is placed inside the comment. That's why it's simply ignored by the compiler. The comment that starts with forward slash and star and ends with star and forward slash is known as a multi-line comment. This is simply called a multi-line comment because it allows you to place multiple line of code that can be ignored by the compiler. This comment is very much similar to the comments found in C and C++. Let's understand this example. Here I have placed two printers inside this comments and you can see when I run it, I'm getting the output hello and the bye. So this print hi and print hello is simply ignored just because these are placed inside the multi-line comments. The comment that starts with three forward slashes and ends with end of the line is known as a documentation comment. Basically, documentation comments are used to write the documentation of your code. This code can be obtained by using the command called dart doc. Let's look at this example. You can see when I click on the main, no documentation is available regarding the main. Let's say if I'm writing some documentation comment here, like this is the entry point. Now, when I place mouse on the main, you can see it is giving me information like this is the entry point. So make sure that whatever thing you write with these three slashes, it's actually a documentation comment and it will appear inside the documentation that you create using that doc which results in the HTML file. This type of comment supports the HTML type syntax. How? Just understand this one. Let's say if I place this inside the U, that is the underline tag, you can see if I place mouse here, this entry point is appearing in the underline. The reason here is this documentation comment supports the HTML type of syntax. The comment that starts with two forward slashes along with Capital to do is actually called a to do comment. To do comment is used to inform the programmer that there is something he must implement in the code. Let's look at this example. If I write to do in capital along with something, let's say write some code here. Now you can see that pad is giving me information that is, I need to write something here. When my code has to do comment, each and every time this to do comment will help me to remember that there is something missing by me and I must have to implement some logic here. Thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.